Here we go. All right. All right. Here we go. send my husband out. Did you guys meet Rich? <laughs> he's, he's very friendly. And um, so, so I, I sent him out to find out, who, you know, who's out there tonight. And I know I have some friends in the audience, Bob and Debbie, of course. And I am getting the, the baseball signal that my guitar is out of tune. My husband does this to me. That's, uh, so uh, let, me, let me tune up a little bit. Um, so, are there October Project fans in this audience tonight? 
And are, are there people who have uh, seen the show before? Me, alone. So, okay. all, right. Uh, all right, all right. This is my little census that I take. Okay, and uh, so, uh, and, and then I always ask my favorites, are there any newbies in the audience? Did you get dragged here tonight? <laughs> oh, well, I'm gonna warn you, I do tell a lot of stories. And uh, so here's the deal. I'm gonna mention my old band, October Project. And, if, and I know, you'll, I'm gonna get that glazed over look from you, okay? <laughs> But um, uh, we were a band in the 90s, and that was sort of where I started my career. And um, October Project, uh, our sound was sort of, we had a sweeping grand sort of sound, like Peter Gabriel, and a lot of harmony like the Indigo Girls. And sometimes it sounded like Grace Slick sat in once in a while. Or as I used to like to say, we were the thinking man's ABBA. <laughs> Think about it. So, um, and, and, and the thing is, nowadays, because it's been so many years, we, you know, we were big in the 90s, and uh, in fact, I love seeing myself on playlists on Spotify, and it's always ladies of the 90s. So, I'm, I'm a lady of the 90s, and, uh, but, um, I never know when I'm gonna run into like that, that obsessive October Project fan and you, you never know where they're gonna be. <laughs> One of them was, was in, in, at, the, at this university in China when Rich, uh, my husband is a, a deep sea oceanographer and he gives a lot of talks around the world and, and, and so was probably our one and only Asian fan. And then, uh, but then, Rich and I, a few years ago, we were at this benefit, and probably one of the wealthiest humans, no longer living, but on the face of the planet, uh, was at this benefit and met us, and um, he looked at me, and I, you know, I hate those benefits. I, I, I'm so shy, and I, I make really bad small talk. And, and I, was, I had a martini in my hand, and he said, and who are you? <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm a singer-songwriter, you know, I felt like an idiot. And then he said, uh-huh, and I, get, I got the once-over. It's like, would I know you? <laughs> and I was like, Prob probably not. I, I, well, I, 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 I used to be with this band called October Project, you know, and, and, and he's like, what did you say? <laughs> And I said, October Project, and this guy literally stepped back. He said, oh my God, oh my God. You, you, you saved my life. I was like, oh, <laughs> that was not on my bingo card for that night. And uh, no, it was not. And uh, apparently, this song that I'm about to sing, a quintessential October Project song, got this gentleman through what I would imagine was a ferociously expensive divorce. <laughs> okay, here we go. You rise like a wave in the ocean And you fall gently back I tell you has been 
unspoken and everything I say he was said before but everything I feel is for the first time and everything I feel I feel for you and I Since a lot of you don't know me here tonight, um, a lot of the room, um, I talk about my, my, my family a lot um, and my, my history a lot. And the thing is, I, I grew up in this big Irish-German ex 